Welcome to Time in the Shade in Shady Oak Ministries, and now, the news. On May 19, 2023, the New York Post reported that Devin Arthurs renounced his beliefs in neo-Nazism and converted to the religion of peace. The impact this had on his life was quite telling. Giving up a life of racist thoughts and words, he exchanged those harmful attitudes for action. Shooting his two roommates to death and taking three people hostage at a smoke shop in the name of Allah. He was later released to avoid suspicions of Islamophobia, where he has once again been arrested for planning terror attacks on power grids. I mean, at least he stopped meeting with those neo-Nazis. Isn't that a daisy? In July 2017, a British Muslim experienced a race-hate attack when a man pulled off her hijab. We've seen this done ten times now. I'm just going to get to it. She made the whole thing up. Never mind, then. You've seen this before? Eleven times, as a matter of fact. In the 1894 edition of the Watchtower magazine, they claimed that the time of the Gentiles would come to an end in 1914, along with the fall of all false religions. Unfortunately, we'll have to chalk up another false prophecy spoken by the organization. 1914 has come and gone, and there are still Jehovah's Witnesses. I'm hearing the voices! In the Mormon Marriage Manual, we're told that celestial marriage is what makes the difference between someone becoming a god or an angel. This has become more popular among Mormon millennials who are wondering now more than ever what it will be like to be an angel. Oh, boo-hoo! Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. In order to address the accusations of the medical apartheid taking place in Israel, Israeli doctors have addressed the trend of high mortality rates among Muslim Arab patients compared to Jews admitted to their facilities. They stated, quote, Show me a Jewish suicide bomber and we'll talk. Jesus mythicists have confirmed that Jesus, as Christianity portrays him, never existed as a historical figure. Rather, he was borrowed from the life of Buddha, whose earliest written biography, the Buddha Kartia, was written 200 years after the historical death of Jesus. They claim that the followers of Jesus invented a time machine and went to the 3rd century AD to figure out what to write about him. Not scientifically possible! And that'll be all for this week. Thank you all for joining us. Good night and God bless you.